Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement of the beautiful Edith Piaf song La Vie and Rose. There's also a beautiful Louis Armstrong version. This fingerstyle arrangement is heavily influenced by the Louis Armstrong version. First, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes. And then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen along with us. It goes like this. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so there's an intro and then there is the verse with two different endings. So um, it's pretty short and sweet. Uh, the intro goes like this. It starts with D and you play the chord and then you do this. Okay, two pull off to zero on the first string, three, two, three on the second string. 0 2 on the first string. Okay, so. And then this. Okay? 2 3 on the first string, and you play 1 on the fourth string along with 3. Okay? 2 0 on the first string. But along with zero, you play two on the fourth string. Then you leave this E note ringing and you play four on the second string, zero, two, three on the first string. Okay, so it's two, three, two, zero, four, zero, two, three. Okay? And then this. Okay. Five five on the E string with an open A string on the second 
A note. Three, two on the E string with an open D string with this F sharp note. Zero, two on the E string with a C bass note, three on the A string along with two. Then three, five. Okay, so you have A, D, C. Okay, and then okay, it goes up uh, in melody and down in harmony. It's okay, so. Five, 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 five on the E string, and with the last five, you play three on the A string. Again, that C bass. Then on both first and fifth strings, you play two. Then you play three on E, one on A. Then five on E, zero on A. Got it? Three, two. One zero on the bass, two three five on the E string. So D, that's the intro. That's it. D. Okay, you can play the chord along with the second two instead of with the first two. One two. flat A. Okay, one last time. And then the song begins D. Uh, you play strings two, three, and four. Okay. Then two zero on the second string, two on the third string, four on the fourth string, three on the second string, and then F sharp minor. You can bar the second fret or you can do what I do and bar up to the third string and use your thumb. Okay? And play strings two, three, and six. Okay? Also, if you do this, play strings two, three, and six. Now, if you play this, there's a chance that the other strings will ring. If you do this, then you can mute the fourth and fifth strings with your finger and the thumb just by touching them, and then they won't ring. That's why I prefer this version. So, D. sharp minor. Then uh, open second string, two on the third string, four zero on the fourth string, two on the second string, then G, okay, strings two and three open, three on the bass, then two on the third string, four zero four on the fourth string. Two on the second string, E minor. Again, strings two, three, and six. And then the Louis Armstrong lick. Okay? Instead of just moving to A, there's a small solo lick. Two slide to four on the fourth string. Zero, four on the third string. You can hammer it on or not. Then A, and you play strings three, four, and five. Okay? Again, you can fill the chords in any way you like. I'm just showing you the basics so you can create your own version of this instead of copying mine. Okay? I'm no big advocate of copycats. I want you to be creative with your own guitar and your own vision. Okay? Uh, so that's the first line. And 
then E minor, just strings one, two, three, and six. On the second string, three, two, zero. Th uh, third string open, three on the second string, then A7. Strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, open third string. And then this. Again, Louis Armstrong influenced. Uh, th uh, two, three, two, zero on the, th uh, the second string. Two, three, two, zero, legato, hammer on, pull off, pull off. Okay, or not. You can play the last, uh, the last, the, the B note. And then open third string. Two on the uh, fourth string. Two on the second string. And then E minor again. Open uh, strings, just two, three, and six. So again. Okay. Then. This. Hammer on, pull off again, this time 0 2 0 on the second string. Open third string, 2 on the fourth, 2 on the second. Okay, almost the same line. Okay, instead of this, you've got this, and the rest are the same. This time you end on G. So open second and third strings, 3 on the bass, then again. Louis Armstrong. Two, one, zero on the second string, you can pull it off. Three on the, the third string, then A. Again, strings three, four, and five. I like to play just the A octave, strings three and five. And then complete the chord. So, Something like this, just very, very uh, gently complete the chord. Gently. Um, and then again. Okay, so this is the first iteration of this. This is the first round. So D. F sharp minor. Okay, and you can repeat the bass in the middle of each line if you want. So D, D bass, F sharp minor, bass, G, bass, E minor, E minor, bass again, A7. first three lines. You repeat D, F sharp minor, and G. And then you play the second ending. Um, two on the third string. Four zero zero on the fourth string. Three on the second string. Then three on the second string again with the rest of the G chord, which is uh, strings three, four, and six. Okay, so um, from the first line, then, and then you have the rest of the bar to fill, then. Zero, two, three, four on the second string. E minor. E string again. Three on the second string. E, um, e minor chord again. E string again. So it's... Okay, got it? This kind of adds the seven into it. It kind of creates an E minor seven chord. And then three on the second string again, then F sharp minor again with an open E string. So this time this shape comes uh, in very handy. 
Okay, so this is F sharp minor seven. Um, open, uh, open first string, two and two on strings two and three, and two on the bass. You can put it like this. I find this uncomfortable, so I use the thumb. Okay, so, and you play the E string twice more. So, uh, no, actually twice. So, um, so you play it once more. Okay, to avoid confusion, here it is again. And then three on the second string, then two on the third string, again with the F sharp minor bass. You're still on F sharp minor. Then three on the second string, then G6. So leave three on the second string and play strings one, two, and three with the G bass. So you have the open E string. Then three on the second string. Um, the same chord again. Um, no, this time the um, E string once. Okay, sorry, this is confusing. It's the same line with different harmonies. So, just the chord this time. Then 303 three on the second string. Then A13. A dominant 13, which is A7 13 or A7 6, if you like. Two and two on the first and second strings, open third string, open fifth string. Okay? And then two zero on the E string, and you repeat it to your heart's content or play the D chord as an ending. So the second iteration is this what we just played. D. G. And then G again. Sorry. I got too enthusiastic there for a second. F sharp minor. G6. Then the first iteration again, or the D chord as an ending, or the intro again. practice this please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I've got a ton of lessons here on the channel for you to learn so why not click subscribe and join the like and rest community also click the link in the description it's the link for the tabs go to the website download the tabs it's for free just like this lesson is for free everything on like and rest is for free but if you want to give something back and help out with the production of these lessons uh, there's a large blue donation button on the website right above the tabs you can't miss it if you want to help out I'd be more than grateful for any donation you choose to make. Now you go practice this, get this under your fingers, create your own little version of this, okay? Just have fun with this. This is a beautiful, beautiful composition, beautiful song as well. If you've only heard the Louis Armstrong version, I suggest you go listen to the Edith Piaf version. She's out of this world. Her voice is just amazing. There's nothing that even comes close to it. So um, go listen to the song, go play the song, have fun, and I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.